friends. Welcome back. Hi besties. Sorry, we're besties, yes. I was not planning on filming this video today. I had a whole lineup of videos that I was gonna do today, and then I got a phone call. And you know those phone calls that just kinda like fuck with your energy? It was one of those. A lot of people in the spiritual community say that I need to stop swearing in my videos, but like it's just, they, I swear in real life, it happens. And if I stop getting paid, maybe then I'll stop swearing in my videos, but right now, I'm doing pretty okay. So if you don't appreciate the cussing, then I'm fucking sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyways, yeah, so I got one of those phone calls that just threw me off. It just, it just, I don't know, like, I was in such a good mood. And then um, I had my list, you know, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna film this video, this and this, and I got ready. Let me break you down through the day before I get into like what I wanna talk about. So I wanted to get a bartending job um, because I'll be moving soon. I'll be living downtown, God willing, and I wanna bartend when I live downtown. I think it'd be fun, it'd be great for networking something to do why not make some extra money you know like i don't know i just want to bartend i just feel like it's something i've always wanted to try while i was in my 20s so why not right especially because i'm gonna be living downtown so my friend told me that this place is hiring um for bartenders and all those things and like it was an, it was a really easy in so i applied and i got the job <laughs> within literally 15 minutes i just did the interview like an hour ago and I got the job within like 10 to 15 minutes because I always kill interviews and it was quick anyways so it turns out I have to start off as like a serving assistant server then go to bartender so if you catch me at I'm not gonna say the restaurant a restaurant serving and just mind your business okay it's only temporary not that there's anything wrong with serving at all it's just like I don't know anyways so that happened I get a call after from uh, someone in my family and they are like, oh, how are you? And I was like, I just got a job. And then like pretty much this person in my family really just like put me down and like let me know about like, I need to start taking life seriously soon. Like they're worried about me. I'm in my twenties. And like, the thing is with me, I just like, I know where I'm headed okay and I know that everything is a process and right now I'm in the process of elevating my career and my life and I see it but other people don't see it and when I get these calls I need to work on accepting others opinions and not letting it get to me and not taking it personally but during this call um, it was just a lot of like when are you gonna start to like get your life together when are you gonna start to do this like this job is not for you, you're better than this, and just like putting down the job in general. And I was just like, I, I know it's temporary. I mean, don't tell my boss that. But I know it's temporary, you know? Like, and even if it wasn't, what if my life goal was to be a bartender? There's nothing wrong with that. It's not, but there's nothing wrong with that. I have a vision, I have goals, and I also, have a desire to get to know new people and meet people and like you know have a job why not if i don't like it i'll just quit that's the way i look at it because i know where i'm going and like oh i need to hold on okay so i think i'm saying a little too much just in case the employer finds this i'm really sorry everything i'm saying is just a joke so anyways yeah so long story short the call was very discouraging and just like a lot of like when are you gonna take life seriously and go back to school and get a real job type of vibe and like i think that people around me don't understand i got other plans <laughs> i got other plans I know you don't see it. I know you don't see the vision. You don't see the potential. You don't see the end goal, but I do. And I know what I want and I know I'm gonna get there. Like, that's the thing. That's the message of today. We're gonna get into that now. You need to believe in yourself when nobody else will. I need to believe in myself when nobody else will. Why? Because we're all that we have. I'm all that I have. 
You're all that you have. You see your vision, you see your goal, you see your purpose, and that should be all that matters. And I'm talking about this today because I need to remind myself of this because I get caught up in what people I really care about think of me. I don't care about what most people think of me at all. But when it comes to like three select people in my life, I give a shit. I could be having a great day. I could be on my um, four agreements shit and be like, I don't take anything personally. But I do, I do, and I need to learn not to. So I just wanna talk about this today. So. This is the way I see it. I was watching a hindsight video. If you guys don't watch hindsight, which apparently most people that watch me watch hindsight according to my analytics. So if you don't watch him, you should watch him. You'll enjoy him. Um, anyways, he said something that really stuck with me a while back and like, I don't even know, a couple months ago. He said, um, maybe it's a common phrase, but I heard it from him. He said, um, faith is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. There's no proof surrounding it really. You can't, you know, you can't see it, but you still know what's there. You can feel the wind, you feel it, but if you try and explain what it looks like to somebody, they're not gonna get it. If you try and look at it, you're not gonna see it. You just have to believe that it's there because you know it's there, you know the wind is there. Faith works the same way. When other people don't see your vision, your purpose, your goals, they don't have that faith, you have to hold on knowing it's there. And when you don't see it, you might not see the results of all your hard work, but you have to have faith blind faith that it will all come to fruition the way that you envision it in your mind so i know what i want i know my goals i know that it, i'm bigger than youtube i know that and like i love youtube and i'll always be on this freaking app it's been 13 years of me being on this app so app website 13 maybe 14 years of me being on this website and um i'm, I'm gonna be on this site for a long time but I know that I'm bigger than YouTube, and you guys will see that one day. You just gotta believe me, and if you don't, that's okay. But all that matters is that I believe me, and I have faith, even though I don't see all of it just yet. I mean, I see a lot of it. I have accomplished many things, and I'm very proud of myself, and there is tangible evidence of the hard work I've put in, so I'm blessed that I can hold on to that when I lose faith, because I know that there was a point that I didn't have that and I still have to just have faith. And was it easy? No. No, it was so hard. I was like, when is my channel gonna grow? When am I gonna get to do this? When are, when, like, it was just so frustrating. I was like, why aren't I hitting 5,000 subscribers? And it just wasn't happening. And also, by the way, when I'm talking about like my career, and YouTube and stuff, I'm not just talking about this channel. I'm talking about my other channel, which is more successful. Uh, according to other people, but I like this one better. I Post on this one way more I, this this is the one that I see doing it for me Like all the opportunities that will come from having a platform will come from this channel And I know that I know that like it's just it's just a matter of time That's what I tell myself and that's what you got to tell yourself. It's just a matter of time Just have that faith in whatever it is that you do Whatever it is that you do you just got to have faith and you got to hold on to that because it's not always going to be easy and there's going to be moments when having faith will feel like one of the hardest things in the world but you have to the way that i look at it is like look at j cole to some people he popped up out of nowhere but real ones myself included know how hard that man has been working we know how hard that man has been working. That man has been rapping since like, I don't even know, like 2006, 2000, a long time. He dropped his mixtapes in like the mid 2000s, late 2000s, nobody was fucking listening. And he dropped another one and nobody was listening and he dropped another one and people started picking up and then, you know, it just went from there. And like he talks about it in one of his songs, how like he went to school in New York thinking that he wouldn't even need to graduate because by the time he was in New York, he'd like end up getting signed and like be able to just like drop out and like live his best life. And that it didn't happen like that. So <laughs> if you know what song I'm talking about, comment it down below. It didn't happen like that. So he ended up finishing school <laughs> and he had to graduate. Because he's like, oh shit, I guess my career hasn't taken off yet. And he had that faith in himself. 
And then um, he ended up meeting the right people and signing with like Jay-Z and stuff. And you know, it still took a minute for his career to take off. Like most people didn't really give a shit about J. Cole until KOD, which was in 2018. When I went to go see J. Cole perform in 2013, it was free. The next concert I went to was a dollar. And the next concert I went to was $35. Like he's really worked his way up. My whole point is that he did not have that overnight success story. He was a work in progress and it took him years, over 10 years to get to where he is. But you know what got him through those 10 plus years? Faith, faith, vision, determination, hard work, consistency, faith. There was an interview that he did which was, uh, I don't remember where the interview was, but it was, it was on something. And pretty much somebody asked him, if somebody knows the interview, please link it below. I can't find it anywhere. Somebody asked him something along the lines of like, did you know this was gonna happen? Like your career, like your success, did you know this was all gonna happen? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I don't remember his answer, but I just know it was along the lines of like, yeah, like, I didn't know my talent and I knew I was going to get here. There was no if, ands, or buts. There was no what if. It was like a matter of when, pretty much. Just like what he was trying to say. And like I heard that one day and I was like, damn, that's the same mentality I've always had towards the things that I do. Like with my first channel, The Amateur Guru, I had had so many YouTube channels and I never took them seriously. I just like posted and had fun with them and like never made money. I just posted for fun. It was always a hobby. 2016 I realized I hated my life because I hated school and I hated my job and I hated working I hated all of that and I was like I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and it's gonna be my job There was no if ands or buts. It was a when when is this gonna happen for me because it's happening I made the YouTube channel in 2016. I made my first banner my first little profile picture an intro and I got Final Cut Express and I was like, okay, we're doing this and in a year I monetized it and in two years I quit my job and I had YouTube be my full-time income and yeah like it was just a matter of when it was not there's no buts there's no what if this there was no ooh, I don't know just in case mm -mm, no it was just let me go to school until this pays the bills and then I'll work hard on this and figure it out and I did that and now I'm doing it all over again all over again <laughs> sometimes i'm like am i okay i'm literally starting over i start i'm <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me sometimes i'm just like will i ever be satisfied i don't know i don't know but i decided to do it all over again because i'm fucking crazy um with the same mentality there's no if ands or buts guys i'll see you at the top <laughs> like you're gonna be watching this channel for a while and you're gonna be like oh wow i saw her when she had 2k or when she had 5k and I can say that because I have faith this is a rambly video have a little faith that's the message today just believe in yourself when nobody else does you only have yourself so believe in yourself because if you don't you're gonna lose sight of what you want and what you're going after and the second you lose sight of that it becomes really easy to let yourself down and you know have a backup plan and do that like mm -mm. if you know what you want and you know what it takes to get there and you're willing to do the work and manifest and do the work then do the work and get yourself there but in the process it's not going to be easy it's going to be stressful you might go broke you might have mental breakdowns you might think you hate it and then decide you love it and then this that and the third and just you might fucking lose your mind but through all of the chaos you have to just remember to keep one thing and that is faith that is faith okay okay <sighs> I'm drinking coffee um, with caramel macchiato Starbucks creamer. It's delicious. It's very yummy. But yeah, I'm a little sad right now because it's never fun to have people you care about letting you know pretty much that you seem like a failure. She did not say that at all. She did not. And I know she meant it with love. 
but it's really hard to hear it that way when you know you're trying to be happy and optimistic about something and then someone just kind of like rains on your parade but here's the thing with like immigrant families um they're very insensitive sometimes and it's a mixture of them being insensitive and canadians such as myself being sensitive it sometimes it's just like a recipe for disaster so like i'm not angry at all um i didn't even act upset i just when i got off the phone i sat with myself and i was like i just have to get used to hearing conversations like this until my work and my career speaks for itself because there's going to be a day that it's all going to make sense to them and i know that it's all going to make sense they're going to be like ah sorry i doubted you and i'm going to be like it's okay um it will all make sense because it's all happening it's just a matter of when yeah i'm going to finish my coffee and probably force myself to film another video not force myself i'm going to enjoy it what i when i say force myself i mean like get my ass up and change and start the video process but once i press record i'm going to be happy because i love making content and i'm like out of that creative right now so i'm able to do this but nonetheless i hope you gain something from this video whether it be faith or just a new perspective i don't know i just hope that it taught you something or that you resonated or i don't know whatever you gained from this video whatever you felt while watching this let me know um i guess that's it thank you for watching new moon and full moon worksheets are available if you're interested in purchasing one um you can get it for as low as three dollars and it's available on my Etsy. So that's linked down below. I'm very proud of it. So if you just want to support, feel free to buy one even if you don't give a shit about the moon. Like if you just want to support, go ahead and support your girl. Um, but if not, uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I guess I will see you next time. Bye friends. <laughs>